The Elixir Group business system is based on a vision of advanced and profitable agriculture. With its six member companies and 1,500 employees, the Elixir Group is a regional leader in the chemical industry in the production of phosphoric acid, complex mineral fertilizers, and other areas of agribusiness. All the companies making up the Elixir Group system are connected strategically, administratively, and logistically. They're located on the banks of the Danube and Sava rivers, which are regional traffic arteries. The production capacities of the Elixir Group's chemical division are technically integrated. Phosphoric acid, refinement of phosphoric acid, mineral NPK fertilizers, and aluminium trifluoride. At present, production processes in the chemical division use fossil fuels, which account for between 5 and 12 percent of the cost price of finished products. The group's most important strategic goals are aimed at increasing energy efficiency in the chemical division and completely replacing fossil fuels with alternative energy from renewable sources. In order to achieve these goals, in line with the corporate strategy of sustainable development for 2020 to 2025, the Elixir Group is establishing a new subsidiary, Elixir Energy. The principal function of Elixir Energy is successful synergy with the chemical division by implementing the waste to energy concept and the circular economy model. Waste to energy means the production of energy by the incineration of waste or the processing of waste into sources of energy. The integrated approach to waste management includes a collection network developed collaboratively with all operators, generators and owners of waste in Serbia. Temporary storage and physical treatment of waste in eco-lager facilities reuse of recyclable chemicals in the chemical industry, and plants for the recycling of waste as an energy source. In the Shabats industrial zone, adjacent to the Elixir Zorka complex, is an eco-lager consisting of several installations. Multi-purpose covered warehouses for hazardous waste, a reservoir station for waste oils, emulsions and oily water, open warehouses for non-hazardous waste, mechanical treatment of non-hazardous waste, and preparation of hazardous packaging waste for storage and transport. The five-year strategy of the Elixir Group also includes the development of the industrial complex in Prahovo to a total area of 300 hectares, of which 115 hectares is earmarked for a contemporary industrial chemical park consisting of several technological units. The energy island, as the central zone, will be used for infrastructure and energy installations for the use of the existing plants as well as for the future development of the chemical park. The most important features of Elixir Energy are the planned waste-to-energy plants for pyrolysis and incineration of waste. Both plants are fully automated, with integrated systems for safe operation and state-of-the-art measures for environmental protection in line with the latest BAT demands and EU emission limits. Plant residues will be disposed of as non-hazardous waste or stabilized inert solids within the planned ecological island. The waste tire pyrolysis plant uses a thermochemical process to recycle and decompose organic matter. This produces liquid and solid fuels, pyrolysis oil, gas and coke. The plant also recovers about 10% of metal wire, which is traded as a secondary raw material. The planned capacity of the plant is 30,000 tons of waste tires annually, with the option of including up to 20% of plastic waste. The products obtained from pyrolysis are intended for on-site energy use. 10,000 tons of refined pyrolysis oil, 10,000 tons of coke, and six tons per hour of steam. Incineration, the heat treatment of industrial and non-recyclable waste, is aimed at using thermal energy and steam for the needs of chemical production processes. It's expected that 35 tons per hour of steam will be produced in the first phase. 
stationary fluid bed technology has been selected as the most appropriate for the kind of waste predominantly generated in Serbia. This technology is versatile, enabling a wide range of solid, paste and liquid waste to be incinerated. The incineration block has a capacity of between 30,000 and 80,000 tons of waste per year, depending on the calorific value of the input. Two incineration blocks will be constructed in phases with a total capacity of 2 by 28 megawatts in parallel with the development of the industrial chemical park. In the first phase, up to 2022, the pyrolysis and incineration plants will enable the replacement of fossil fuels with energy from renewable sources, meeting the needs of the group's chemical division to a level of 100% in production of NPK fertilizers and aluminium trifluoride and 65% in production of phosphoric acid. The synergy of Elixir Energy and the chemical division of the group will contribute to achieving an equally important strategic goal the active involvement of production units Elixir Prahovo and Elixir Zorka in the circular economy. This is in line with a 2019 EU regulation which urges the use of alternative raw materials and the reuse of waste materials from production and supply cycles in the production of mineral fertilizers and soil improvers. This lays down realistic conditions for part of the industrial and non-recyclable waste from Serbia and neighbouring countries to be treated in line with the 5R postulates of the waste management hierarchy. In this way, Elixir Energy contributes fully to meeting the overall goals of sustainable development. The Elixir Energy business model also conforms to umbrella national and European documents, including the National Waste Management Strategy for 2020-2025, European Directives and Goals Concerning Waste Management, Amendments to the Basel Convention, which oblige every state to deal with waste generated on its own territory, and Development of Economic Collaboration within the Mini Schengen Zone. In this way, as part of the Elixir Group business system, Elixir Energy contributes to development of the whole environment, achieving significant cumulative effects. Efficient waste management in a way which is not harmful to people's health or the environment, the replacement of fossil fuels with alternative energy from renewable sources, and environmental protection and rational use of natural resources, which are the goal of responsible businesses and relations with the community and the environment. Elixir Energy.